got the second coat on there. I got it to lay out pretty flat. Definitely not that great at uh, painting. There's still some brush marks in there. But I'm just going to keep layering it on there and see how flat I can get it. So I've also been working in here, prepping to paint the hull. I sanded everything down and then I uh, came back and scrubbed it with soap and water and a uh, Scotch-Brite pad. Trying to get all the loose dirt and stuff off. So I'm going to let this dry and then I should be able to get a coat on there tomorrow. Alright, well I got it all prepped inside here. Pretty much going to be painting everything. I'm not going to paint above the engine or that bulkhead to the left because I need to do some fairing and uh, some other stuff. So I'm going to be painting all of this here and that side all the way up to the to the deck pretty much. So I've sanded everything I've scrubbed it all with soap and water and thoroughly rinsed everything multiple times. Just gone through and vacked the whole surface again. And now I'm going to paint. I think I'm going to leave these bulkheads because I may varnish those. So. Let's get to it. So I'm going to be trying out this Pettit Easy Cabin Coat. It's a water-based paint. It's supposed to be pretty good. It's supposed to be able to stick to gloss surfaces and pretty much any other paint. Calls for two coats. Probably going to have to do three to cover up some of this stuff, but we'll see how it looks. coat on there. Took forever. But it's dry now. You only have to wait four hours between coats, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coat. Definitely starting to brighten it up in here a lot. Second coat is on. Definitely gonna need a third coat some areas so get that on there tomorrow looking good Which is better than the, uh, eating too many dangerous chemicals. She takes all the crowding and stuff and then comes out like that. Yeah, that's pretty.
So I'm doing a test fit the companion way hatch. I've got these slides installed. And it seems to slide okay. It seems to fit pretty good. So now I need to get these installed. I think it's going to work. I'm going to go ahead and take it back off and varnish the wood. And then we can permanently install it after that. Alright, well it's Monday morning, and I just got the third coat on the companionway hatch and the forward hatch. And I'm only going to do three coats, I think, on the bottom of these, just because they're not going to be exposed to as much sunlight. So I will, after it's mounted probably, and I get this trim installed, I'll probably come back and do a fourth coat or maybe a fifth coat on all of the uh, exposed stuff but I can do that once it's in place so let these cure and then I'll get them installed so the paint's all dry in here now uh, I have three coats over everything and then in some areas I came back and did a fourth coat where you could still see through a little bit and it was still a little patchy and it looks really good now definitely looks a lot better than it did and it's a lot more pleasant to be down here now so right now I'm working on getting the chain plates installed so I've got this one temporarily in place and then I've gone through and marked all the holes so I just need to come back and drill those so the only real challenge is I have to find a way to drill because I need to drill from this side I was trying to find a right angle drill small enough to fit in here but that's I don't know if that's gonna work so I may just have to cut access through this bulkhead to be able to drill or I would have to mount the chain plate on this side but I already have the hole cut through the deck so I don't really want to put another hole in the deck so, we'll see. Alright, well that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave us a like. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.